Number six, Materia 2A. Tēnā koe, uh, Mr Speaker, tēnā koe, te whare. My question is to the Prime Minister and ask, does he stand by all his statements? Mr Speaker. Oh, the right uh, on, yes. Prime Minister. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia 2A. Does he stand by his statement to, his, to this House that Brian Perry's inequality report, Household Incomes in New Zealand, is, quote, the definitive study in this area and it is correct, end quote? Uh, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, yes. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Materia Turu. Does the Prime Minister agree with the report findings that 45,000 more children are living below the 60% after housing costs standard poverty line. Uh, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I agree that um, Mr Perry has put out a later, latest report. It does show that increase. It also shows a plethora of different measures uh, for poverty. He also goes on the report to say there is no, uh, no evidence yet to support the view that inequality is, uh, is widening out. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia Turo. So is the Prime Minister suggesting that the fact of 45,000 more children living in poverty in just one year doesn't matter? Are the Right Honourable Prime Minister? No. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia Turo. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Beyond the hardship measures that the Prime Minister is concerned with, is he saying to this House that he is committed to resolving the poverty suffered by those additional 45,000 children as set out in Brian's report? Uh, the Mr. Right Speaker, Honourable Prime I, Minister. I think it's um, worthy of noting that there are literally hundreds of measures in the report. The members quoted one, uh, and that in part is because the media, that is because the median income has has risen. But yes, Mr. Speaker, the government remains committed to helping all New Zealand children. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia Turo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Does the Prime Minister uh, agree with the author of this report, the most definitive study in this area, that because the incomes of the bottom third of New Zealand families hasn't moved, but housing costs for those families have increased substantially, that there are now 45,000 more children living in poverty than before. Well, Mr Speaker, as I said right before, there are many, many different measures uh, in the report. Uh, Mr Speaker, there are many different ways of looking at it and cutting the numbers and different reports that are in there. Mr Speaker, what is clear and what the report says is that there's, uh, uh, there's not clear, there's, it's not clear yet that there's a trend of rising income inequality in New Zealand. Uh, some of the data that the, measure, uh, the member mentions is a result of medium income rising. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia Turo. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Given that the Prime Minister's economic plan uh, has failed to prevent 45,000 more children now living in poverty, will he consider working with me and others on a cross-party consensus on child poverty alleviation policies? Uh, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, no. I'm happy to stick with the plan that the Government's got, which is actually working in my view, which is increasing benefits. Uh, for the first time, a Government's done that uh, for 43 years. It's also around measures for a strong economy, because actually, as we know, uh, when people ultimately uh, can find employment and move into employment, their average household income rises. It's one of the reasons why, through a strong economy and the welfare reform measures this Government's undertaken, we now have the lowest number of people on the equivalent of the old DPB since 1988. Mr Speaker, the measures are working. There are many ways of cutting the numbers in Brian Perry's report. You should ask a question. Question, oh, that's right. You're not allowed question number seven.